Uh, since it's an independent film, what advice would you give someone uh, wanting to raise money for their independent film? So I just, I just did like a three-hour podcast on. So no, did you? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a tough question. Um, there's there's no exact way to do it. Um, you gotta get creative. Really start believing your work. Kind of be able to put yourself out there. And there's you got masked. Leave you. One thing is to. It's not enough anymore to just have something great, a great, a, a, a great uh, uh, project and a lot of passion. You actually need to be able to understand the business. No words. In order to be able to link your investors or attention investors in the eyes and say, this is how you're running, not the graphics, right? And so it's necessary. And so I've spent you know almost 20 years learning, you know, I've given you and learning how it's changed and and i i would advise people to do the same and to, don't just don't just to have something great and think that it's great this is how to inspire people with dumb money because it's not you, you need to understand how to sell oh geez so that would be my thought when it's good thank you we're sure i don't know the shit why do we show we see yourself please stand here these and these we shoot these yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry I right, kick yeah. it off. Maybe it's small feet. I, 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 it, nowadays, when I see independent stuff, it's the wager between, like I said, four weeks or maybe a month and a half if they lost it with the funding. Oh, yeah. But it was big. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the video. Yeah. yeah. So, it's uh, definitely too much. It's just too much. We're in the middle of the I'm not saying you said it. Yeah. And that's your question. It was, is, like, the, honestly, the difficulties with that, we built this giant tank, which was, Ways what it was, it looked awesome, but you know, the difference is that it's reflected on the actors, you know, specifically Bella. Because I I write reasonably dialogue heavy stuff, fan, so it's not just you know, like, I know you, I thought it's, it's saying very thought for me, and, and that's hard enough to say and act as she good, just then combine that with essentially man wrapped in a giant on the deeper edge, essentially, and wording is Terry. And then such so he's great, but I like you can it's sound yeah, right? But so it is it was beautiful. I'm very much a fire bill of the I'm say it. Were there any some dependent selling directives that inspired you to kind of get started? And so man, independent, I don't know. I mean, I'm the biggest David's and he he was one of the biggest inspiration. And honestly, Thurman should so I just actually now I wanted to be a novelist when I was younger and that was, and I love new this film that made me kind of bridge that gap with raising your lips oh, because so I read, just because it was the first yeah. movie I'd seen as quite cool. and it's really cool yeah. but the dialogue is so intelligent and they use your, the words I was like big I don't read it just uh so, you know now it's uh but it's worked you know, like, okay yeah, it's cool and now we're not right through these New Year's with oh, it sucks. Oh, it's just like so exposition. Oh, like you're so great. And so that was insane. Honestly, it's a film that it, it's it, it's an amazing film. It's the one that inspired me. It's so good in Koto. I mean, you got like, well, Lynch, especially that has that kind of most mystical, <laughs> mythical um, yeah. ethos to his films. And he's like, so yeah, I did. I did an even longer podcast about Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> I was on that four hour. I'm not kidding. These guys were awesome. We talked about it. You're a Lynch fan, right? And I was like, you don't know what you're Yeah. <laughs> so, come to our podcast. I think that would be hardest if you were asking them. It's like a four-hour thing. And, so, and they, I think even at the end, they were shocked. But really? yeah, my love and appreciation. <laughs> and the hearts for the Lynch. I you on that one. My <laughs> I would take that. <laughs> so I'm pretty big. I just respect so much how the, 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 for it to simplify this tremendously, just how he approaches telling stories. And he, he prioritizes it teamwork and emotion over narrative. Everybody else does you know, it. Yeah. No, like, it's, oh, it's a very poetic voice. Okay, yeah. if you say, where you tell where it's not, you know, he goes, okay, I'm going to make a movie about, he doesn't Go like I want to make you about Hollywood. Like, you know, like, you know, I guess no, he's not. No, he's a cute size. He over looks at this unbelievably set, almost hard to quantify. I mean, live or shape, the very specific feeling of moving to Hollywood to be in a weird sense that there's this like schmizer who makes it, he does, yeah, but it's so niche and so real for anyone who's experienced it. And then 
he just put scenes together that we're gonna don't it doesn't matter it, the movie makes no sense so it does not make sense there's no way you could try to say it as the narrative it does but you still come away you have feeling exactly what you are yeah it's amazing so, yeah, it's yeah. i want to ask you about uh, casting so when you're writing and you have like these characters in your head uh how do you go about like when you're casting, you're like, okay, that, got, that, that is what I'm seeing. Yeah. You know? It's interesting because when I write a character, sure. I do have, and it's never going to be a, okay. the, the, whoever ends up playing the role is never going to be what I envision. Exactly. Right. Yeah. But so what I learned to prioritize are a couple of things. Number one is obviously like the talent in general as an actor and the ability to more get to be with a character that he helped that we create. And then, you know, bringing their own, knowing that they're going to bring knowledge. And so an understanding of the character, that's the biggest thing. Because it's all I can do. You know, I've worked with these amazing actors. Like, Turn hey, and say, I'm not going to tell them about it. <laughs> they know more about it than I ever will. So I just kind of express what the character was in my mind. And then let that be yeah, huh? the best way to embody that or to wrap Convey that. So I'm very, when I'm casting, I'm looking for um, different things and just like, oh yeah, this guy looks exactly the way that I thought he would look. Like, it's a little tiny, tiny piece of it, but it's more like art from a cinematic perspective. Is it interesting? Are they portraying something that can't wait to want to watch? Are they interpreting my characters? And that's the what is cool and that people are you're the overall idea for this Wall Street. I don't know. Everything could be, you know, and I hate to say this, and the comic cons is probably the terrible thing to say, but I hate sequels, man. I hate I am so over about the various franchises over, you know, a lot of netlessly. It's like, I'm not opposed to a sequel that makes sense or part of the director's special vision, I would say. Like, if it is a story that legitimately was too big, it would be so I mean, it's a lot of times based on the success of your person, but it's never as said that there's never a sweet part, in my opinion, of direct sequel. One or two obvious there's examples have been that said of it or two, but it, it's this. So, no, so it's bad. Like, I, I would never. If, if one day I woke up, oh my god, I have another idea, stories about yeah. one or more of these characters that has to be pulled. This would be a very cis way of doing it, but if this movie pulled up to make success, I'd be like, it's the closest sequel I was just letting know all the truths. And so they, I mean, yeah, it had to be. Okay. It had to be. Um, if you believe in mythical creatures, aside from the mermaid, of course, which one would you, which one is your favorite? I, oh, that is. That, <laughs> Second person. Look at that shark. I was obsessed with vampires as a kid, honestly. I just think they're so cool. I don't believe them, yeah. though. I don't believe them right either, but I, but I love the vampire. I it was, that's so cool. Right. Just so cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's sexy. Thank you. 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 Thank you.